Here we are in beautiful Sage Lake with Sean Beardsley. Sean, it's good to see you again. You too. And we've got something going to be returning to Liberty Pines. Yeah. Tell us all about the, the second annual. We're having the second annual extremely fun cowboy race at our barn. And it's going to be October 5th. And it's going to be bigger and better than last year. Mm -hmm. It's going to be on the same property, the same location, but we've got a little, a few other things that you've got up your sleeve this year, right? Yes. Okay. We, this year, well, last year, first I'll explain what it is. We have an uh, arena that we set up many obstacles and we test your horse's bravery. And this year, we're going to set up an obstacle course for the kids. So if you want, if your child is not old enough to go through all the obstacles on their own. They can be led by their parents and it's going to be a little bit smaller area. And uh, last year we had a lot of kids that were led through the big course mm -hmm. and it was a lot of fun but I think a smaller area for kids even younger it would be great. So that's what we're going to change this year. Um, we just learned from last year. We had so many people last year ride in it and this year it's just going to be better. Yeah. Each year will get better. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can tell. I mean, this this time you can surely bring your entire family if they're into horses or if they're not into horses. It's a good chance to, to look and see how the people interact in a, in a good way in the horsemanship. Right. I promote safety at my barn, Liberty Pines. I train natural horsemanship and this way we get the horses out, we get them all together it's a fun time for just the town to come out, bring your horses, and we send them through this obstacle course, and we're just, you know, excited for mm -hmm. this year. We had all ages last year. Do you remember what age uh, range it was last year? Oh my goodness, they were all the way from, I think the youngest might have been five years mm -hmm. old, all the way up until the probably 60. Mm -hmm. I mean, we had just a a great turnout last year and I'm hoping it's going to be bigger this year. Mm -hmm. And don't worry about if you think you're not good enough because it's going to be fun. That's what it's all about, right? That's absolutely yeah. right. This is called Extremely Fun Cowboy mm -hmm. Race. Not to be confused with the Craig Cameron mm -hmm. Cowboy Race that we see on TV, mm -hmm. but I took it from that as an example that if people watch that on our FDTV, Craig Cameron, They'll see the, uh, I got hooked on watching the extremely, f or extreme cowboy race. So I made the extremely fun knowing that I wasn't that competitive mm -hmm. and my horse wasn't ready to do that, any anything that extreme. So this way it's just, uh, the average person can come out and go through the course and have fun with their horses. Like have as much fun as you can. Yes, <laughs> and safe. I like safety. Yeah. And you had people coming from all over last year, and uh, rain or shine, we had a questionable weather point now and then, but it the, the, the didn't dampen any of the spirits, I can tell. These people love their horses. Oh my goodness, I was so surprised the weather that we had that so many people still came out, but that's a true horse person, mm -hmm. is you get out there with your horse no matter the weather. Yeah. Yeah, and I see that uh, you know, the weather really wasn't the topic last year. They were more interested in having fun, so right. it, they just kind of went through it. Yes, and it, like I said, hopefully it's going to be bigger this year, and we'll all keep our fingers crossed for yeah. the sunshine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And that was a beautiful time of the year, too. It's going to be in October, beautiful. Usually the foliage is really in kind of full right. full color, and it kind of brings you closer to the horse. You know, it's, it's, it's really nice to see the whole family coming out, too. Right, right. People came out with all the kids and all their horses, and I'm sending brochures out all over the community, hoping to get people out with their families and just a fun day with their horse. And I pick October because fall is such a good time for the riding and the bugs aren't as bad and we can have a campfire and lunch will be provided. Um, uh, for the riders and spectators will be able to purchase their lunches. So we'll have some 
warm fire and mm -hmm. good times. Yeah, the best thing to do is, is register as early as you can. We'll have the uh, registration form on our Facebook site and you'll probably have it at your Facebook site. All you've got to do is print it off and send it in and uh, you'll be guaranteed more or less a place in the, in the, in the fun, play, fun right. time. There's only so many I can get through okay. the ring in the day so uh, the quicker you get your registration form in you know the better so um, like I said because we had such a great turnout last year and I think it's gonna be bigger this year so we're gonna have a good time and I'm looking forward yeah. to it and if you're not in you're wondering about horsemanship and getting into it this would be the place to kind of interact with a lot of people who really love their horses tell us where it's at where is Liberty Pines the location and how to get there okay Liberty Pines is at 169 West Scribner Road in Rose City and we're uh, about 20 miles north on 33 off of the expressway and you'll just go west on Scribner Road and you can't miss it. Mm -hmm. You get you off on exit 202 right. and then head north and then Scribner Road is uh, just before you get into Rose City. And, Correct, and you, yep. Yeah. Very easy to find. Yeah. We've got plenty of room to pull trailers. I know, like myself, some women are a little bit worried about getting that trailer turned around and mm -hmm. parked. And we've got plenty of room. We've got a big turnaround driveway. So any women that are a little bit worried about parking their trailer, if for some reason they have a hard time, we have people that can help them. Uh, if you're having any problem with your horse, mm -hmm. some people are, well, I'm not sure if my horse is ready for that. There's people that can help you and we'll mm -hmm. have pens set up and uh, we'll, we just want people to get there and have a safe, fun time. Last uh, through uh, the afternoon, probably. Oh, yes, okay. yes. So. so any spectators that don't want to be there right at 10 o'clock, at 10 o'clock is when we're going to sign in. Um, they can come you know, later in the afternoon mm -hmm. and watch and lunch is mm -hmm. going to be like from one to two. So okay. Um, okay. come out and have something to eat and watch right. the show. And that's October when? October 5th and it, registration is at 10 o'clock and I believe we're going to start with the children first and then the lead line class is what I'm calling it and then um, after lunch we'll get into the adults and mm -hmm. depending on how many kids we have. Yeah. Sounds like a lot of fun. Well, yeah. thank you very much and we'll see you October the 5th. Thank you. Come and see us.